Happy Friday, everybody, and uh, welcome to today's one a day, the domino effect of unhealthy breasts. Now, where does it all start? Where does this unhealthy breast thing start? Well, it actually starts with uh, um, most of the advertising that's done by the Breast Cancer Association. It's actually done by the media that is driven by them. And then we've got to look at the pharmaceutical companies that are behind all of these guys. But I'm not putting it down. You know, that's the way it is. That's, that's the uh, breast cancer game, so to speak, right? Run, jump, skip, swim donate, okay, so that we can give more money to uh, breast cancer research, which would be radiation, chemotherapy, uh, and more drugs. So that's your choice too. And I'm not running that down either because that's what life is, all about choice. But do you really have a choice? I don't think so. Women have not had a choice for a long time because what we've been able to do through the media is actually create panic and fear and have women standing in the shower every time they shower, searching through their breasts to find that nodule. And every time that they don't find the nodule, they're good till the next day. How would you like to live in terrorism every day about your beautiful breasts? Because now your beautiful breasts have, are not so beautiful. They are your, your bad breasts <laughs> because it's created bad beliefs. And those beliefs are is that uh, uh, you are not responsible enough to heal yourself, you're not responsible enough to look after yourself. And definitely, if you ever did get a breast problem, you don't have the intelligence to look after yourself, which is so far from the truth, you know. I think what we've done in health, even natural health to a certain point, uh, we have removed um, why we were created and we were created to create an amazing life. And then, um, uh, the medical system, far as I can see, and a lot of the natural health system has actually forgot that the body actually heals itself. And it really does. As soon as you uh, no longer become the terrorist. Well, what would, what would that mean? Well, that means that the domino effect of unhealthy breasts actually starts with a thought. Because your thoughts are the most powerful thing. And whatever you think creates your day. So your personality is your reality. So if your personality is uh, wrapped up and uh, based on fear of uh, uh, your future and uh, um, your lifestyle, then you're going to end up there. So now let's talk about this. So do you understand that everything starts with the domino effect of the large intestine, the colon, which is 85% of your immune system, which has 2.5 kilograms of good bacteria, which are the most important thinking process of the human body. That's not true, Dr. Wolf. It's the brain. No. The brain is the chemist and the brain is the storage shed of prominent beliefs. Your brain doesn't do a lot of thinking. It does a lot of monkey mind stuff because your thoughts and your life will be dependent on the prominent thoughts that are held in your subconscious, which are 90% of your brain. So actually, breast cancer is actually a dysfunctional thought. <laughs> it is. And breast cancer is where you have issues in the tissues, but they started in your mind first because where the mind goes, the body follows. But we already know that 99% of all women have a land mind. They don't actually have a thinking mind. Okay? And it's not your fault, but it will be your responsibility to take personal action, and learn how to create the perfect day in every way from the minute you wake up until you go to bed. And you've never done that. If you follow the herd, then you're going to be a statistic. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you know you're going to have breast problems. And you know what? Whether you want to believe this or not, but we work on uh, women from 15 years old and up with fibroids, tumors, okay, crystallization, calcium deposits in their breast. And I can tell you right now, you need to go and take a look at the perfect day guide in my library. Go look at the domino effect of unhealthy living, okay? And then go look at cancer is an inflammation scar tissue issue in the library. Watch the videos and then go to my masterclass, okay, which is at the top of my website. Click on that and then put the code word master and you'll never, you'll never have to pay for it. And uh, you will put your credit card in. But the reality is go read the first five on page five to 40 pages in the, in the guide, and then go watch about what we talk about how to turn around your breasts. 
okay? How to make them healthy, how to make them beautiful, how to make them vibrant, how to get the tone back, how that you never have to get up in the morning again, in the shower, and check your breasts and go 24 hours of more peace, okay? Because you are gonna go to pieces. So understand, it goes from the colon to the liver, to your bloodstream, to backing up your lymph, to causing lymph uh, nodes to back up and swell, all right? And we're gonna teach you how to have the healthiest breasts whether you are 19 years old or 99 years old. And that's the God's truth. So here we go. This is part one. Part two, I'm gonna be going and showing you with Master Sage Wolf, okay, the technique that we use to actually go in and relieve women of crystallization, scar tissue formation, calcification, how we can actually bring the tone back and we call it, okay, Wolf Non-Surgical Breast Lift. So you can take a look at this and I can tell you that it's all about flow, it's all about circulation and the more blocks that you get in your breast, the more stagnation you're gonna have and the more closer you're gonna get to mutation. That's the bottom line. Part three of this, you're gonna see me working on a beautiful woman. I'm gonna take an actual tumor I'm going to go in and work around the tumor because all tumors have legs and those legs are what feed the actual tumor. You're going to see me. I'm going to work around the legs and I'm going to take the legs apart that actually feed the tumor. And you're going to see within 10 minutes, just by doing that, I bring it down half the size. Did you hear what I said? Then I'm going to then go and work on the tumor and I'm gonna bring it down another about 40%. And I've got witnesses there to show you this is true. And we're gonna show you that the impossible is possible. And when somebody says to you, we can't do anything else for you, they're not lying because they have limited beliefs. And as soon as you understand that that created the universe, created you, and that your body will heal as soon as you change your beliefs, when you have empowering beliefs and you understand something that you are much bigger than anybody else has ever led you to believe. So stay tuned with us and we're going to see you down in the treatment training room. Catch you there.
Thanks for joining us for part two of the domino effect of unhealthy breasts. Now, I went over some things with you upstairs to show you how we get unhealthy breasts. Now, understand something. Unhealthy breasts are not a choice. It's not like somebody goes out and chooses to have unhealthy breasts, okay? The problem is the information is not there, okay? Who you rely on, it's gonna be very important that you do your own research, but we're gonna make it as simple as possible that one and one actually equal two, not 11, okay? So we're down here and, and we're gonna show you what we call the Wolf Non-Surgical Breast Lift. Okay, and the reason why we call it a breast lift is, you wanna know something? The more that we go in and remove the calcium, the internal scar tissue that's created, and the crystallization, that returns the blood flow, the lymph flow, and the energy flow, and believe it or not, you can see when we can actually measure a woman's nipple, when she's standing up, and then you can see, depending on the breasts, of course, and the condition, but anywhere from actually the, the 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 smallest we'd see is a quarter inch right to around an inch and a half the nipple will become higher so understand something uh where there's blood flow where there's lymph flow where the energy can flow there's life where there's energy there's life where there isn't energy there's not life and that's the reason is all these invisible blocks that you don't even know you're having that you think are normal that are abnormal but we get them, and as I stated, upstairs, I went through all of that with you. So before we start the Wolf Non-Surgical Breast Lift, okay, what we're gonna do is, is we'll actually use Biotron light, which is a full spectrum light, with a fluorine lens so that we shine light into the whole body, and what that does, that creates harmony in the body and helps the body to get into a, a more of a parasympathetic state, but it increases the energy levels. Okay, and you always want to make sure that your client patient is in a parasympathetic state, not a sympathetic state. And a lot of people will come in for therapy. If they're not calm, the therapy's not going to go well. Okay, we'll also use an Avacyn and oh, well, the Biotron light will increase the actual um, frequency, increase the actual microcirculation in the body by no less than 32%, where this device here, the Avacyn, will actually increase the uh, microcirculation in the human body by 66%. And that's third party studies at different universities. So um, that is the most um, circulation that we can get from any energy medicine device so far that we know of on the, uh, in the energy medicine field today. And then also we use what's called a sentient element, which helps to go in and we will do a blood sweep, okay? So all of these things help to encourage, but understand something. We could use all this energy medicine equipment, but if we don't go in and physically pull apart the beef jerky, and it is beef jerky, and if we don't go in and increase the, uh, um, the blood flow and the temperature, we're not gonna melt the crystallization, which is the lactic and uric acid that are used as the glue to take the fibrin and bring it together along with the calcium, which is woven around it to create a wall to stop the parasites from coming in to contaminated inflamed tissue that is actually mutating. And especially when we're talking about situations of cancer, that's why there's a wall. That's why it's called a fibroid. That's why there's adhesions. All of these are used to protect against invaders and to protect the inflammation from spreading throughout the whole breast. All right. So we need to understand that. Now, before we even start with our patient client, when they come to us, they will do belly button therapy, which I've talked about many times. You can see that in the Holy Grail of Healing. We go into it in detail, along with, we show how to do the pelvic, okay, um, enhancement, where they actually put their leg up and we actually stretch the pelvis out because whether you wanna believe this or not, the Holy Grail of the breast is in the pelvis, and the problem is in the pelvis first before it's in the breast. Isn't that something? So when you talk about doing bioidentical hormones and you're taking all these natural things for your hormones, did you have to look after your colon? Uh, did you have to look after the water you're taking in? Or is it structured water? Are you doing uh, the ultimate coffee enema? Do you know anything about juicing? Do you know anything about proper advanced fasting? You'll find this all in my library at Doc of Detox. And if you go to my A to Z guide, 
okay, in Doc of Detox. And if you want, you can take our masterclass by using the code word master when you click into our masterclass A to Z wellness class. Okay, now that out of the way, understand something. You back up your large intestine, you're, reabsor you're absorbing waste in your body. I hope you understand that 85 to 95 percent of all physical illness is due to the large intestine. It's the holy grail. It's 85 minimum percent of your immune system. You are absorbing that waste and it's going into what we call the pelvic bowl. Okay, it's like a valley. Gravity brings it down. That sets the alarm system off, which is the ovaries, and then we start having problems in the breast. But, hold on one second. So, you also had uh, a root canal, right? And the root canal that she found out that she had in her mouth, it actually was attached to the meridian that fed the um, the right breast, correct? correct? Yeah, do you still have the root canal? No, I removed that juice a couple days ago. A couple days ago, yeah, we talked about that, remember? Yeah. And I said, if you're coming to us, get that root canal out right away so that when you go to do your detox, okay, everything is gonna go along better. You don't realize it, but I don't care. There's no such thing as a healthy root canal. Is there such thing as a healthy sliver? Is there such thing as a healthy breast implant? Is there such thing as a healthy knee replacement, hip replacement? They're all foreign, and they're always gonna cause inflammation and irritation, a big mistake, okay? All right, so let's keep moving on. So the other thing is, is once you start backing up your colon, you back, you back that up into your liver, Okay, when you back that up, you're also backing up your lymph dumps into your colon, which means now you're going to start getting uh, smelly armpits, smelly groin, smelly breath, but you're, you'll find your lymph nodes start to swell. Okay, so did your lymph nodes swell? Yes. Where? Uh, on the, my right armpit. And how much swelling? Not a lot? Not a lot. Okay, but did they did they make you panic over it? Yes, they did. They said that it needs to be biopsy done. Okay, so now, I'm not telling you to get a biopsy, but if you do your homework, you'll find that biopsies actually can lead to increasing the cancer. That's scientifically proven, just like chemotherapy, just like radiation, just like x-rays. I mean, come on, okay? So do your own homework. I'm not telling you not to do it. Do whatever you want. It is your body, but understand something. Let's look at our options, and then guess what? It, do you have a life-threatening situation? And I'd always go for what? A second opinion, even a third opinion, and find out if they are totally matching, all right? And understand, don't forget your body heals. So now, let's say, instead of the biopsy, instead of the surgery, we were to actually go in and get that person on a perfect day, get them on our juice fasting, get them on our advanced water fasting, and get them to do these things here and actually bring up the energy of the body. But I'm gonna tell you something, I have people that have spent tens of thousands of dollars, I kid you not, but until you wanna physically go in and start pulling apart that beef jerky scar tissue, right? Because you have, a, um, you have a, a tumor in there and it's cancerous, and it's about this big. And like I stated on my one a day the other day, I went in there and I worked on you 15 minutes, didn't I? No longer. How did it feel when I finished? It was really uh, difficult for me to handle this situation because uh, uh, I was shaking. And, uh, but afterwards, uh, the tumor went uh, smaller, much smaller. Yeah, the tumor went down about 45% without yeah. exaggerating and understand something the more the more fear and the more trauma you have over something okay the more you're going to shake and the more pain you're going to have okay so we know that women are totally freaked out about breasts there is so much advertising out there i mean who's not scared i mean you know what and do you call prevention going and every time you have a shower and feeling to see if you have something I'm going to be teaching you, okay, all right, I'm going to be teaching you tomorrow how to do skin brushing, how to do salt clothes, how to do padding and clapping of the breast, and how to bring your breasts back and make them young again, and if you have fibroids, even tumors, how this all makes a difference, and, and what essential oils to use, how to use DMSO, how to get your husband to start massaging your breast and working on your breast, 
And we teach this in our couples training, personal treatment and trainings. And that's why you're here right now, right? He, her husband is here to actually be the hero of this story. And he's going to be. Okay? So Sage, who is our master trainer, he's going to explain why we do and what we do. We're just going to show one side. Okay? We're going to show the right breast uh, because of... Uh, um, but you would do similar. When we do the uh, breast work, we do we do both sides all we the time. We do both sides. It's the exact same thing on one side versus the other. But before we do the breast, we always do the oh, pelvis and the abdomen. Because And the other thing that's really important is we always do the coccyx and the spine because that's your energy, okay? And that's where most of the light is in your body to bring up your energy levels. And then we utilize these other things. And before you came, I told you to get on the perfect day diet, and I told you to do a, a fast, didn't yes. I? A juice fast. Yes. All right. So we wanted to reduce the inflammation. The less inflammation you have in the body, the less pain you're going to have. Okay? Now, wouldn't you say, being honest, and this is, like, tell the truth, like, don't tell, say what I want you to say. But when I went to work on you, There was a, more fear than there was pain, and the fear increased the pain and the trauma of it. Because like I said, giving birth, right? Yeah. You understand? Yes, I do understand. So, yeah, I, I would agree with you because it, it was very painful, but uh, at the same time it was some emotions which were trapped over. There's always going to be tra uh, trapped emotions, okay? And would you say that you have felt terrorized over this whole thing? And how long have you known about this? Since August, I know about this. And uh, would, it's very, very emotional, difficult for, for the w women to... Live with this. Yeah. Would you say that not consciously trying to hurt yourself, but that on an unconscious level that you couldn't really help it, you were terrorizing yourself all day long because the problem is, you know what? Here's the problem. When you can't take action, that's insanity. When somebody's telling you things, but you don't know what to do, and you, you know, the last time that you had a problem and you were able to take personal action, you didn't worry about it. So now that you're here and we're doing things, do you understand, are you feeling confident? I feel more confident and I'm, um... Uh, I'm really glad that we came here. It's the best decision we've taken uh, since I found out about uh, breast cancer. Right, and, and comparable, let's say if you were 100% fearful and just only tell the truth, not for me, how do you feel now in a percentage? If it was 100% before you came, how do you feel now? It's probably only 5% left, but it's unconscious fear, which is still sitting there. But uh, knowing right now and feeling the size of the lump, how it decreased and uh, with all the knowledge uh, Sage and you provided for us, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it will be handled uh, perfectly fine. I will be cured uh, probably in, in a month. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? It will be a month and it will not be because of me. It will be because of our creator and because her healing process and her husband. Because he's going to go home and take it to the finish and take all the credit. Okay? What a guy. Okay. So now i got one more question before we start. The emotional work I did with you, which is about an hour, did it make a difference? Yes, it did. How much of a difference? Uh, it's a... Huge eye opening for both of us, for me and for my husband. Why? What was the eye opening? Um, you know, it's uh, uh, it's difficult to explain for me, <laughs> but uh, we realize right now how important it's to listen right. to each other. Yeah, and to like. Uh, for me, most important is to know what that I'm free to speak. And uh, for all those years, I have been trapped my emotions inside. Um, 
I, I don't know, I didn't know how to speak loud and I will be in this learning journey how and uh, our um, emotion level will be going better and better. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, and let's make one thing perfectly clear. She didn't speak up because her husband is not nice. She didn't speak up because when she was a child, she was taught that she shouldn't speak up. You can be seen, but not heard. And the reality is you can only speak up for the amount of love and honor and respect you hold for yourself because you're going to demand that from other people. And when we all get raised in not respecting women, because we all men get raised not respecting women, trust me. And you can say, well, my husband respects me. Well, no, it's ingrained in us. And the reality is if we actually respected women, then the world would not be in trouble. And I'm going to prove that in my I Am Woman series that I'm going to be releasing. So let's get started. Sage, okay, so Sage, you want to start and start talking about what we do. Okay, so with the breast lift, we're going to be starting at the bottom of the sternum, working up the sternum with our elbow, playing our angles all the way up to the jugular notch. And after we work up to the jugular notch, we're going to come about half an inch from the bottom of the sternum all the way up the intercostal muscles, loosening those off. Now you'd be really surprised, okay? We can work on men. And I'm not saying all men, but we can work on men. And when we work on men, they have nowhere the calcification, the crystallization that's locked on the sternum and in the intercostals of the sternum and scar tissue, it's amazing. And we're finding it more and more. It's, we thought, at least a long time ago, I thought it was because of the weight of the breasts, but it wasn't. It's actually got something to do with the bra pushing in. And this causes this crystallization and cal displaced calcium in here like crazy. Like, uh, um, we won't do it today because we've already worked on Oxana, but I will tell you, we will get somebody in the next maybe week or two where we're working on them and then we'll, we'll use this camera. And you know what you're going to hear? You're actually going to hear crunching, snap, crackle, pop like Rice Krispies. And that's all that calcification, crystallization that's, that's causing these um, invisible blocks that bind you that you don't even know that you have that nobody even cares about. And guess what? Are you ready for this? Go get an x-ray. You don't pick up any of this crystallization. You don't pick up this calcium problem. And I'll tell you something, this is how bad it is, the calcium problem, is people are told that they have bone on bone in their knees and their hips. And guess what? It's not bone on bone. The cartilage has been calcified in scar tissue. And when we get in there and we know how to restore the circulation, the tissue comes back. Why would we offer a money back guarantee? There's, you know, there's gotta be a reason for this. And we, and we will show you in one treatment when we worked on you in one treatment, what a difference, eh? Yeah. That your whole chest was open, everything, circulation, warmed up, and you felt relief, didn't you? You felt like somebody set you free. Yeah, it was a big difference, yeah. So understand something. You don't realize how calcified you are, but you do on an unconscious level. But until you get the right information, how can you ever do it? So understand something, okay? You can't do better until you know better, and we're here to teach you better, okay? All right. So now that we've worked the intercostal muscles and we've come along all the way up to the jugular notch and onto the actual clavicle, we're going to start at the bottom of the breast because this is that underwire release because women who wear bras with the wires, it's an antenna. So they're constantly getting hit here with like different types of EMF and different frequencies that actually are going to cause this beef jerky down here. And it's going to be either a little bit of strand of beef jerky or it can be a big fibroid that's been created. And a lot of women feel your, feel your breasts in the shower and feel under that underwire. But, but you still won't pick it up. You won't pick it up like the elbow. And the thing you is, to... you can feel it, but there's no breaking Yeah, you know it down. there's something. Yeah. You can feel the dam, you can feel the block, or you can just feel the damn block. So understand something, okay? Uh, like I said, um, this stuff doesn't show up on x-ray. And you know that wire, when you're moving, you don't know it, but that micro movement is irritation. But also understand something, you're picking up all these frequencies. That's an antenna. Yeah. 
that's an antenna. And you know what? Go on your cell phone, okay? And you'd think I'm kidding. All of those cell phone, uh, all of those Wi-Fi's you see, and the millions of cell phone frequencies that are flying in the air right now, they're coming off of that wire. And they've known this for so long. Understand something, okay? You need to protect yourself today. And even if you don't have a wire bra, you will still find if it's a tight band here, it actually causes it too, but not like a wire bra. Yeah. Now, Oksana is not a big woman. And understand something, her crystallization and calcification was that wide and that long, the same length as a wire, right? Yeah. Exactly. And guess what? The actual uh, tumor that she has, which is halfway up the breast, right? Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that kind of funny? Armpit, lymph nodes swollen, and here it is right here. And do you know how many women have uh, uh, a tumor or a fibroid right here? Or a calcium deposit? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So now we found the roots from that coming all the way down to the wire. Isn't that funny? Did it grow off of here? And did the, and did the wire from the bra actually attract it, the roots from the, from the actual uh, scar tissue that was actually growing off of this? Like, you know what a root does? A root goes into the soil to help to what? Feed the tree. Yeah. What are those roots doing? Those roots that were coming off of you that I took apart, I took them apart and honest to God, was it 45% smaller? Yeah, it was. 15 minutes. So you cut off its blood supply by increasing the normal blood supply because a tumor has a separate blood supply because it's feeding off of lactic acid okay, and sugars. And it, it, it sort of uh, uh, separates itself from the body because the body would continue to attack it. So it's like, I'm gonna get my own blood supply. I'm gonna look after myself so that I can just grow. So what we need to do is cut the legs off. And we're not cutting the legs off, that's just a saying. We're lovingly taking those Pulling apart. apart. So anyways, I went in there and I'll tell you right now, you could hear the crunching. Could you hear it? You could hear it and you were, how, how far were you, four feet? Whoa. Three feet? Yeah, yeah three feet. Three feet. Three feet. Three feet away, and he could hear it. So either I was breaking her bones, or I was loosening up the calcium, and it was the calcium, and that's it. So understand, you would never have osteoporosis if you didn't have displaced calcium. You wouldn't have displaced calcium if you didn't have an acidic condition. You wouldn't have that if you weren't inflamed, and you wouldn't be inflamed if you had a proper, perfect day diet that we teach, and you weren't terrorizing yourself on a subconscious, unconscious level. Take it away, Sage. Okay, so talking about this part now, the breast, we are coming first under the breast, working that underwire release, and then we have our rib cage that comes through here, and we're actually going to be working, if my fingers are the rib, I'm going to be working on top of the rib, and then in between, shaving off the sides, because there's gonna be grizzle, crystallization, and beef jerky in between each of these ribs, restricting that blood flow, and leaving all that toxic tissue toxic. And if I can say something, just like barnacles on a boat, yeah. you're gonna actually feel barnacles along the side of the ribs from calcium that was pulled to buffer the acidic condition, because we know you have an acidic condition here or you wouldn't grow something abnormal. So all of that is being pulled, but, but because the calcium is not the most effective way, but you need it to buffer down because if you don't keep the pH alkaline, okay, and it goes acidic. So actually you're, you're buffering it down, but the pH is coming up, okay? But if it gets too acidic, the mutation starts. So your body's going, that's why I said calcium deposits are a precancer state. Not meaning you're gonna get them if you've got calcium deposits throughout your body because gallstones, kidney stones, they're all precancer situations. Because nobody should have gallstones or kidney stones unless you have an inflammatory diet and you're on fire. Sage? Okay, so after I work all the ribs going back up to the clavicle and in between each rib, I'm going to do the exact same thing from this side, from that side, and then we're going to work the actual breast tissue. So what he meant was he'll work from this side and then he'll reach over I'll from this side. I'll physically come over to where Daryl is, reach over and pull all the scar tissue and crystallization back the other way because it's like an accordion. We pull it one way and it's like a piece of plywood as well. One way you run your hand across it, it's smooth. The other way you'll get slivers. So you got to kind of picture that when you're going in there with your elbow. 
So we work all directions, different angles, because we're going to find the crack. We're going to find the weak link and we're going to go in there and disable this thing. Okay. All right. So we're being really thorough and we're going to clean out the ribs and then we're going to start finding right in the breast tissue itself. Yeah. And we're going to start taking all of that apart. Okay. Now, depending on the situation, like you can say, like we generally work this area pretty easy, but I only worked that area that much. And then I followed two legs, right? Mm -hmm. Two legs that actually attached themselves to where the wire would have been right into the rib. Go figure. So don't tell me we don't know what we're talking about. Maybe this is new to you, but it's not new to me. We've been doing this now for over 35 years. Okay. All right. So it's high time that people understood that until the patient becomes the practitioner, you're now the practitioner for her. You're now the practitioner for him. And now you understand that you don't want to be just husband and wife. You want to be two spirited partners coming together to have the most beautiful, healthy, happy adventure every day. And that we're only limited by our beliefs. Okay. What else would you like to say, Sage? So what the other thing is, is that we also will put her on her side. Yeah, that's because, okay, because right here, she will have a big mass of scar tissue from the bra. Every woman does. It's like an island, okay? And you're gonna find that can even have roots coming into here and having roots come into here, okay? So people don't realize this, okay? Nobody realizes this. Now, the other things that we're going to be doing is uh, I'm gonna be showing you and I'm gonna show you tomorrow, right? Yeah. So remember, after we've done this treatment, she's gonna use the Biotron, she's gonna use the Avacyn again, okay? But we also had her doing the Pelvic Enhancer why? Because I'm going to tell you why. Because we said it started in the Holy Grail. So go watch the Holy Grail of Healing. And then make sure you go to the, a, uh, the master class on the top of my website. Click into that. Put in master. You'll have to put your visa card in there. We'll never take a penny. You'll be a master for life. Uh, you mean you'll be a member for life. And you'll also get the other two master classes I'm going to be putting in there for free as well. Because information is the key. And if it's truthful, it's power. And that's what you got to do. Better still, stop giving your power away. And tomorrow, we're going to be giving you more knowledge, okay, so that you can take your power back and stop giving it away. We're going to show you skin brushing, salt glow, padding and clapping, okay? And then we're going to talk to you about essential oils and some of the other things that I think that you're going to find really important. So now, we're going to go back and we're going to do the domino effect of healthy breasts and we're going to keep it that way and remember something if you want healthy breasts you need a healthy body but remember where the mind goes the body follows okay so master those emotions have a beautiful day